When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you gotta push forward. Gina, keep motivating the world, man. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a conference. If you feel like we're over delivering to you, let the world know. Fridays, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I come to you to talk about your business, your money, your career, and your future. We do this show on Fridays because we want to get you, I want to get you ready for the weekend. I want to get you thinking right. Friday, Saturday night, people waste a lot of money. Excuse me. Okay. This plane can actually handle that. Um, today, I want to talk to you about what are you going to spend your money on. Also, uh, by, by the way, since I did the little plane trick, there's going to be somebody at our 10X Growth Conference, some lucky two people are going to win dinner on the Big Bird, okay? Yeah, we're just going to pick two random people out. So every time you guys buy seats, the more money you spend, the more pulls you get, okay? The the so, so a diamond seat gets more, uh, more pulls than, than uh, a general admission. The heroes, obviously, you guys got seats, but you didn't pay for them. And, and that's great. We want you there. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to give two seats away uh, on the plane, just some random crazy draw. So we'll be announcing that at the conference. We're down to 28 days. I want to talk to you today about how you spend your money. What do you spend your money on? What should you spend your money on? Have the rules changed? If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, I'd love to know what you think. Have the rules changed? Or do some things never change? What are you going to spend your money on in 2019? You guys know how to make the money. The question is, what will you spend your money on? I'm going to show you a little trick I use. I've been using it for years. They're like, dude, how, how did you get where you are, man? How does a dude go from broke, bad credit? I, it's not like I came for money. It's not like I'm connected. How do you, how do you create this thing? I, d I did it the same way you're going to do it. There is no trick here, okay? You are not going to miss a step and somehow go from uh, 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 poverty to like, oh, all of a sudden you're rich and it was because you won a lottery ticket. You, that's not going to happen to anybody watching here. You guys win the lottery ticket, I am your best friend. I can pick you up the next day. Remember that. The chances of that happening right here are so minimal, so small, okay? And I left my notes, by the way. I left my notes over at Polly's desk because I had some good notes for you guys, okay? Now, this is what I spend my money on. This, I'm going to show you because you know how to earn it, number one. Number two, how do I keep it? And number three, how do I do to multiply? All right, now I'm going to assume you already have a job and you know how to earn money. There's a lot of different ways to earn money. You need multiple flows to earn that money for it to ever multiply. Most people figure out the first part. 97% uh, of Americans are working today. 97, I don't think it's that high. I think it's stupid. But 3% unemployment or something, 3.5% unemployment. I think there's about actually like, 53% of the American public has a job and is working and is earning income. They don't count the other people. They're like, they're out of the workforce. They don't really count, okay? So check it out. I mean, it's all dumb, dumb. Anyway, earn money. I know how to make money. How do I earn money? From a job. That's one way. From a business. I sell some products. I earn money. Number two, this is a problem for a lot of people. I'm going to share with you today the difference between the rich or should I say, I really don't like the word rich. I like wealthy much better. Okay, I like the wealthy. What word do y'all like better? Wealthy? And then we're going to talk about, oh, y'all want to talk about the rich guy here? No such thing, really. Just a dumbass. Okay? This guy is just waiting to be poor or rich. One of the two. He's in purgatory. Rich is a purgatory state. Okay? It's basically, are you going to heaven? Or are you going to the long-term punishment? It's not, it's not, it's hell on earth, dog. It's heaven on earth and hell on earth. It's freedom, baby. I got freedom over here, man. 
a controlled environment, stays cool, 68 degrees. Oh, my God, pressure cooker. Pressure cooker over here? Don't know. It's maybe land. It's, I'm not sure. This is the middle class, good jobs. You probably work for Boeing or Microsoft, maybe Facebook. You make 250 grand a year, and you're in, you're in silicone heaven, <laughs> and you don't have any money left over. How can somebody make 250 grand a year and not have any money left over? Because they don't know how to keep the money. I just had a lady in my office. She works for Boeing. Been there 22 years. She's got like three or $400,000 worth of net worth. She knows how to do number two. She knows how to earn money, and she knows how to keep it. This is what she does not know how to do. Today, I want to talk about this step, though. How do I keep the money, okay? The only way to keep money is you have to have discipline in place, and you got to study what wealthy people do, okay? So if I take these people right here, what do these people spend money on, and what do these people spend money on? Remember, rich is waiting to be poor, or it's waiting to get wealthy, but it ain't wealthy yet. What do the poor people, y'all want to do poor or rich first? Let's do, poor. Okay, let's do the poor people. Poor people spend money on, just give me, give me anything. What, what's something? Watches. Okay, yeah, yeah, good, a watch. Yeah. I got to have a techno marine. That's what I used to call it. Gucci. I got to have me some fake Gucci. It's not even real Gucci. It's Gucci from the Kana, okay? Oh, oh, my big goal in life is to buy a house. This guy's stuck in this, too. I'm going to buy a house one day. I'm going to be a prisoner, the warden, and the prisoner. Okay? It's the castle. <laughs> trips, trips, right? Trips, pleasure, okay? Uh, VIP, VIP, this is my boy Alan, VIP and bottles, bottle service, cars. right, cars, okay, cars, uh, belts, okay, let me see my belt today, I got my belt, dog, woo what did I spend on this belt, $29, man, $29. Okay. Watch. Watch alert. <laughs> My self-esteem is good today. I left it in the box. Now, what do these people buy? What do these people invest money on? Network. Networking. These people are heavy, heavy on who they know, man. Okay. Charity. Why charity? Because charity is networking. Who's at a charity event? People that are charitable. If you didn't spend any time in charity events last, last year, I guarantee you got a money problem. This is connections, okay? These are networking and connections. The first thing the rich people spend their money on is connections. Wealthy people spend their time with wealthy people. We've heard that over and over and over again, okay? Investments. These people invest money. They don't spend money. These are spenders over here, right? I'm going to buy a watch. It's going to be worth a lot of money one day. Dude, it ain't going to be worth any money. To who? Oh, my God, man. I'm going to buy a paddock, and I'm going to keep it for, like, three generations. And one day, when? You're dead, man. Okay? Uh, they invest in businesses. They buy franchises. Uh, we have people that buy a Grant Cardone license. Those are people that have a wealthy mentality. Why do they want to buy a Grant Cardone license? Because they can use my name, my trademarks, my products, and go to Thailand and make money on my name without me going to Thailand. Uh, uh, marketing. These people, they, these people spend money on marketing. You know, I'm convinced that Donald Trump did not have a plane before he was the president because he needed to travel places. I'm convinced Donald Trump had a plane so he could park it at LaGuardia and advertise that he's a rich dude. People see his name. He left it right there at LaGuardia Airport. He didn't put it at a private airport. He put it at LaGuardia so that every passenger that leaves New York out of LaGuardia would see his big bird. What are you spending your money on in 2019? Okay. What are you guys spending your money on, man? 10X Growth Conference. It's a major networking event. The number one reason you should come to Miami, February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. The number one reason you should come to that is not to see me. It's to network with me. It's not to learn from me. 
If I send my kids to Harvard and Yale, it will not be for the information. It will be for the connection. It will be for the people, the connections. Because if I want money, I need people. Okay? Everything you want, a jigga got it. A person, a human being, a person, a stick figure, this dude here got some money, got opportunity, got connections, got networking, got social. If you want money, you must meet people. When we come back, I'm going to show you five things to put in place this year that will keep you from being a broke wanker. Y'all like being yo-yos? It's so dumb, dude. You guys are so dumb, okay? Let me tell you guys, the ETFs out there, the mutual funds, okay, equity in your home, all this was designed to make you poor. College education, $1.5 trillion in debt. $1.5 trillion in debt, okay? $5 trillion is sitting in equity in homes. Oh, I don't even know how many trillions. The numbers here are freaking mind-boggling. We're talking hundreds. We're talking, I mean, I don't even know how many trillions. We're talking hundreds of trillions of dollars sitting in ETFs and mutual funds. This is for poor people, folks. This is for poor people. You no longer have control of your money. You won't have control of your money till what? Till you're what, 60, 70 years old? Okay, mutual funds. These are going to collapse. I'm just, I'm, I'm here to tell you, nobody's talking about it. These ETF funds are going to collapse. You're sitting in 401ks, retirement monies, uh, IRAs. This money is going to collapse. It's going to happen in our lifetime. It's going to be the ugliest, most brutal thing you've ever seen. Equity in homes, it's going to disappear. You got equity in home, you need to get this money to work. This money is dying. It's like having chickens. It's like being a farmer. You got chickens and you go out there and you're like, what's the chicken do? Ba, 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 ba. Chicken, that's all that chicken does, okay? Dude, when's the chicken going to have an egg? Okay, is the rooster do the thing? Do he does the chicken? Okay. Dude, if a chicken don't have eggs, he ain't worth anything. You got to feed him to eat him. Right? So this is, this is what wealthy people do, man. I changed this. When I was 30 years old, this is what I started doing. Okay, networking. All my money went to networking, charity events, Connections, investing, and business. I don't lose money, period. I don't buy garbage. I don't buy cars. You see me rolling that big black rolls? You see me buying one for my wife? But you didn't see what I did to get here, dude. I'm in this column now. I can do anything I want. I didn't buy luxury early, okay? And I ain't buying it now. My businesses are buying the luxury you see me blowing money on. I can be stupid now. Once you create enough wealth, you can be a dumbass. But you, what do y'all see? Y'all see 50 Cent out buying a new car every day. He's a dumbass. 50. You a dumbass, dude. Okay? I see these guys, man. Y'all dumbasses. Y'all ought to be buying businesses and real estate that can't be destroyed. Right? Watches and Bentleys and Gucci and houses. Most of it's fake anyway. You, you bought a great house, okay? And then three or four years, I got, my, I got a bunch of equity sitting over there. Good, sell it, get it. These are going to get hammered here in the next few years. Houses are going to get hammered in this country, okay? The VIP bottle weekend, okay? The travel trips you're taking. You're making, if you're making a decision in 2019 on going on a vacation where you don't get connections, where all you get is vitamin D, okay? Some of you to go into Vegas, you know what I'm talking about, vitamin D. Sun. No, I ain't talking about the sun. <laughs> okay. Everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, then why are you hurt the following week? What's that thing on your lip? Why'd you bring that home with you? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let me show you what I did. I, I put a discipline in place. I had the same problems you did. Okay. I have a scale that I spend money on. These are the things I spend money on. Okay, number one, okay, I need it. I have to have this to live. I need it to live. I need a place to live. I gotta have food and I gotta have water. Basic, right? I gotta, th these are basic needs. This would not be a bicycle unless, of course, I lived in India and a bicycle was how I, you know, move people around. 
Number two, number two, a high chance. Oh, no, no, no. 100% chance or close of making money, of producing money. Well, then I'm going to buy that deal, right? Hey, man, I can buy this thing, and somebody else will pay me more for that. I'm going to produce a book, and somebody's going to pay me. It's going to cost me $3 to buy the book, and I can sell that book for $9, okay? Okay. A possible chance at money. Okay? So let's just take these three, right? I, I need to go to dinner tonight. I don't have to go to, to Prime 112 to do that. But I do need to eat. So i got to have some food. Now, I could do the peanut butter and jelly. I could do the millionaire next door. The millionaire duck next door, he says, hey, man, just live on peanut butter and jelly, dude. You're going to be rich one day. I don't want to be rich, dog. I want to be wealthy. I don't want to be in purgatory. I want to go to heaven. Where the big freaking, where, that's where they're having a party, man. Moses up there. No telling what he's doing. Rocking place out, man. Huh? Abraham. Abraham, you know Abraham's a DJ. <laughs> DJ Moses. Let's blow this place up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, but, but look, what if I took a, a, what if I took a client to dinner? Him and his wife, Elaine and I, went to Prime 112. A possible chance at doing some business. Okay, now four and five, dude. Look, four and five, is this, this is just maybe need it. Maybe need it. That's a four. Don't do it. And this is zero chance. Zero need. This is just bullshit. Okay, so this is what you do. You just need to start playing out in your mind, man. One, two, three, four, and five. What am I spending my money on? One, dude, I got to live. Okay, that, what is that? It's gas in my car, man. But by the way, I don't need a car. I got Uber now. Okay, I could Uber. What would it cost me to Uber to my office? From where I Four dollars a day. I could save myself a lot of money. That'd be eight dollars a day. Right now, I'm paying eight dollars a day times. Uh, that'd be $240 a month, and I save my, my insurance. Cost me $240 a month to Uber back and forth to work. That's the only place I need to be every day anyway is work. But what about my life? Hey, dude, get wealthy. Don't worry about your life. See, the wealthy people are willing to pay the price today so they can pay any price tomorrow. tomorrow. All the decisions, I'll take the caller. All the decisions I was making when I was 35 and 40 and 42 and 45 and 50 bought me that bird right there. Okay, because I invest, I, I'm sorry, I spend my money like a rich person. I'm sorry, like a wealthy person. I spent all my money on this. Going to charity events has made me tens of millions of dollars. Going to charity events, giving money to charity has made me hundreds of millions of dollars. Creating a foundation, helping other people's foundation, helping the boys and girls, helping the Make-A-Wish Foundation has made me hundreds of millions of dollars because it connected me with people that had a mutual desire to change things, okay, to improve things. Who's going to change things? People that are doing things, not people that are at the club, getting a hangover. And by the way, if it happens in Vegas, then why'd you wake up with a hangover? Why you got bleary eyes on the way home if it stays in Vegas? And by the way, what's that thing on your lip again? <laughs> and why are you pregnant if what happened in Vegas stayed in Vegas? Come on, man. It's just another bullshit lie. Like, buy a house. It's the way to create wealth. Okay, let's talk to somebody. Who is it? Hey, Jeff, what's the dumbest thing that you spent money on in your life, man? Be honest. Uncle G. What's up, player? What's up, man? Hey, what's the dumbest thing you spent money on? The dumbest thing I've spent money on? Um, in your life? I could, in my life, that's, I'd have to dig through the files, but off the top of my head, I'll tell you, I did buy a house 12, no, 15 years ago. That was dumb. And... Why, why, why do you say that was dumb? Because most of the people listen and saying, dude, the house is a smart thing to buy. Why is it dumb? Because I've been following you for three years, <laughs> and yeah. I've learned a lot from you. But I'll tell you why it was dumb. We got lucky with the timing. We bought at the right time. I sold at the height of the market, but only because I realized at that point, I thought owning a house, all I'm doing is dumping money in property tax, repairs, uh, you know, feeding the beast, as you say. It's all I was doing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You do the math, you never get that back. 
Yeah. Never get it back. And you got lucky. You got you you made some money, right? I got lucky. Yeah. And but, hey guys, if you have money made in your house right now, I'm telling you right now, you might want to go get go ahead and get it right now. Okay. If you got some appreciation, grab it right now. Where are you calling in from? I'm in I'm in New Jersey. Okay, so help me out here, dude. Like if if I was gonna spend, help me out on my little chart here, okay? Need needs 100% chance of getting me more money, possible chance, the one, two, three, four, and five. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, of course. Let's say I come to you, okay? I come to you and I say, man, look, man, what should I do, man? Should I, sp- should I go to that 10X growth conference on the list of one, two, three, four, and five? Why, where, where would you rate going to the 10X growth conference and getting a seat? I'd, I'd say it's number two. I, I agree with you. It's not a number one. I'd say it's, I don't need it. I don't have to do it. I don't need to right. live. I'll, st- I'll still breathe without going. You said a number two. Yeah. It could be. It could even be a number three. Number two. Right. It's not a 100% chance you're going to go to the 10X Growth Conference and make money or a connection. There's probably a three, a possible chance that with 35,000 people over three days, you might run into somebody. Now, the, 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 the IRS, by the way, the other thing, anything that I can write off right here, I'll just give you a little little thing here anything that i get can write off goes up on the list so if it's one two and three and then i'm going to ask myself that question can i write that off if i can write it off dude bang it pops the top of the list absolutely okay so 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 like i'm going to go buy some suits for the 10x growth conference i can't write off uh, a clothing y'all know that right but i could if i only wore it for this conference And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the suits away at the conference. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I can, buy, I can buy some uniforms for the conference. All right, man, you got a question or you, can, am I done with you? No, no, no. Listen, do I have a question? No, but I wanted to call. I want to thank you for everything that you do, and I want to give you my quick story. And for anybody listening and watching this show right now who's considering and they're on the fence about going to the growth con, right, I picked you up about three years ago. I, you're, you and your content, it's been explained to me, described to me, that this is my religion, because I do. I study it every day of my life, seven days a week. I practice, I practice it. I've gone, in the last three years, when I found you, I was making 70000 a year. Wow. This year, this year, I just became the CEO of a multi-million dollar home remodeling company. I'll make four to 600000 this year. Wow. I'm a high school dropout with a GED. Raised blue collar, okay. I learned sales. I, uh, I, need I him follow all your content. Man. You're you you're the, the one I give the credit to. For Is he the content? But here's what I want to say: anybody that's considering it, there's fence sitters about going to the growth conference. I made it to last year's in Vegas, and what I can tell you is, if you think it won't work for you, it's because you don't believe in yourself. The networking's right there. All you have to do is make a decision. Go there. Go with intention. Go with purpose. And follow through and make it happen. And, guys, this is what he's telling you right now. What's his full name again? I missed Jeff it. Taylor. Jeff. Jeff, good to have you here, buddy. I appreciate you coming in. Guy went from making 70 grand a year to running a business and making four to 600 grand a year this year, okay? Look, all you got to do is if you don't trust yourself with money, and you shouldn't, let's keep it real. At least be honest. Don't be dishonest, right, and broke. Be honest. Hey, man, I don't trust myself with money. When I was 25 years old, I did not trust myself with money. I did not trust myself with drugs. I did not trust myself with alcohol. And I did not trust myself with, with, with free time. Okay? Just go over this, man. Use the five. I got to have this. I have to have this. I don't have to have the gum. I got to have a phone, guys. Okay? Like, I don't have to have a 12-inch phone. <laughs> huh? Size isn't everything when it comes to a phone. Is what I use it for, right? Need, I don't need to, to, I need something to live, right? 100% chance it's going to make me money. Three, possible chance it'll make me money. The top three, I'm spending my money. If the IRS allows me to deduct it, then it's deducted because I deduced, didacted. And I'm going to stay out of four and five. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try to stay broke so I never have to entertain four and five. All my money's going to go into real estate, anything free. So four and five, don't pull at me. Let's go to break. $10 million to put on this event. Somewhere around $10 million, probably over that. I just don't want to admit it. No one fills up a stadium with 35,000 people for 
personal development. They're not only coming back, it's growing. So to be here and to be able to listen to several, you're going to get so much information. And I think what Grant Cardone has done, maybe better than any person in the world, is he has empowered people. He's 10 x them. The fact that Grant is around all these people, I know he's doing something right. We just came from Poland, from Romania. Coming all the way from Israel. Come from Italy, we are very excited to see Grant Cardone. I've been following Grant for about six months, and it's been the craziest six months of my life. Ever since I started following Grant, my money's doubled. We've had 300% growth in our business. In one year, we've increased our sales by $250,000. A few years ago, I was in a car accident. I hit a tree at 120 miles an hour. Uh, I woke up not knowing 10 years of my life, uh, so I was lost. I went from just being a leasing consultant with a $25,000 income, now I'm making six figures, and it wouldn't have been possible without Grant Cardone. Something's really wrong with Grant. He's so crazy, man, but his craziness is so compelling. I'm attracted to crazy people because in order to be successful, it's got to be something wrong with you. It's possible to live your dream if you work hard, if you're consistent, if you follow the Cardones. But you can no longer afford to play small to think small or to act small. So you guys could leave here and say, I just went to the best conference I've ever been to. Between now and then, if you got a money problem, live by these five things in 20 and 19. I need it. We need it right now, okay? My kid does not need a hoverboard. She don't need a dog. She don't need a cat. The family does not need these things. Okay? Okay, something comes up, man. Hoverboard. Is there a 100% chance that a hoverboard makes me money? No. Is there a, a possible chance that a hoverboard would make me money? Maybe. Now build a YouTube channel around it, put 10X all over it, do some great stunt with it, maybe hire celebrities. I don't know, but that's going to cost me more money, right? Maybe. Is there a maybe we need this? No. no. We don't maybe we need it. It's bullshit. Okay? Zero chance. That's where it sits. Good. Okay? You, you just walk through it. Give me something else. Okay? A plane. Do I need to spend $51 million for a Gulfstream 550? Okay? Do I need to? No. 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 Don't need to. It's not number one. Number two. Is there a 100% chance that I would make my money back? No. Number three, is there a possible chance that that Gulfstream would bring me places where I could make some money? Yes. Possible chance. Now, I got to add a little something to the, to, the, to the data. Is it going to make me $51 million? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go on here. Number four, do I maybe need it? Maybe I do need it. Okay, is there zero chance? No, there's not a zero chance this won't make me money. So then I asked myself the next question, which was what? Will the IR and the S, the F, B, and the I, the C, I, and the A, they all the same, the F, E, D, and the S, C, C, will they let me write it down? Yes. And did you know that the IR and the S would not just let me write down a piece of it? They'd let me write down Whoa, 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 whoa. In fact, I was hungry before I started having this conversation. I didn't even need to eat because I'm like, God damn, man, I didn't know that. Boom, it just hit the list. I'm like, okay, how do I figure this out? What can we do with it? Where can we go with it? Okay, oh my God, dude. Hey, what if I created license around the world and I could go travel to London and then leave there and go to Dubai and leave there and go to Sydney and I had my own... Oh, what if I could spend the time with my kids and my nanny, homeschool my kids at 51,000 feet and my kids got a hoverboard going up and down the aisles of my Gulfstream 550 while I advertise for the 10X growth comp. What if I could put Natalie on the plane with me and watch her work the gram from 50,000. Woo! That's why I bought that jet. Let's talk to the callers. And that, that people, is, is the difference between wealthy people and poor people. 
What's Hello? up, man? See, you got you guys are you guys are you guys are buying plane tickets to go to uh to what's that place in Mexico? Uh, Everybody go oh, Cancun. Tulum. Tulum. Okay. Nah, bro. I actually didn't. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to go to the uh, growth conference three. I went to the two. Now I'm trying to go to the three. Yeah. Why are you trying? Yeah. Why are you trying? Well, I'm I'm buying the ticket. Hopefully this weekend, and then I need to get the plane ticket so I can. Now, get you out. don't need a hey 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 hey. Try to hold your dick right now. <laughs> try it. Try it. Just try it. Try to hold my dick. Yeah. Try it. Try it. Tell me when you did it. Tell me when you did it. I, I did it, bro. I did it. <laughs> then, you, then you didn't try. I know. No, I am going. No, no. Try to hold your ear now. Try to hold your ear. All right. I did it. No, no. You, I said try to hold your ear. But I can't try because I did. That's right. Now try to put your dick in here. <laughs> oh, I can't do that, bro. That's, oh, <laughs> no, you can't do that. He said you can't do that because he's been trying. He knows everything he can do with his dick. He's like, I can do everything with my dick. I can do everything, but I can't put it in my ear. I know everything I can do with my dick because I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Welcome I to the car down. Dude, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's Friday. We started 2019 big, dog. Oh, yeah. Bro. It's going to be oh, yeah. big, oh, yeah. dude. Best year ever, bro. Okay, so look, man. Where do you want to sit, man? Where do I want to sit? Yeah. Um, don't don't you want to sit where the guy on the left of you is a millionaire and the guy on the right of you is worth more? No, I want to sit up on the stage with you. Yeah, good, dude. Let's do it, bro. Get this guy a ticket. I was at a meeting uh, three weeks ago. The guy to the left of me runs a company that's worth $6.5 billion, And I'm telling the guy to the right of me, the guy to the right of me is the connector. He knows everybody in the room. I said, dude, what's the guy? He's like, $6.5 billion. I said, whoa, whoa. He's like, Grant, the guy across from you? Worth three times that. Oh, I'm in the right room, dog. Can I buy a dinner? Can I buy a dinner? Can I buy a dinner? <laughs> see, 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 that's where I need to be, guys. I don't need to be at home. By the way, that night, number one, was not where I needed to be with the family, okay? With my wife working on our marriage. That's not where I needed to be that night. I needed to be at two and three. Do you understand? This is the difference between the wealthy and the poor. They make their priorities on how they use their money, right? Where is the money, okay? Johnny's got his money in the, in the, in, in the wall of his apartment because he was looking for security because he was misinformed. Johnny didn't do this because Johnny's stupid. Johnny was told to do this by somebody in his family that was told to do this. Hide that money. So he's like, hey, I'm going to put it in the wall. I can't get the money now. Dude, if you can't get it, it isn't worth anything. I'm going to buy a gold chain. Why, dude? Because one day it's going to be worth something. Dude, you could use the money right now to buy marketing and advertising and promotion. See, wealthy people spend money on the expansion, and, 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 and poor people spend money on memories. On memories, man. Oh, I had a great weekend. You're not going to remember it. I asked my wife, I said, hey, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me one great, tell me, I want you to remember something that you purchased in your life, and you're like, oh, my God, that was amazing. She couldn't come up with anything. I said, come on, think about something. Oh, I bought a car when I was 21. Good. Think about something you and I have done. Think about a thing you and I have done. Okay? Oh, my God, I remember that trip we went to, and we went to that charity event, and we gave that money, and we helped all those people. That's what people remember. Like, where's your money going to go this year? That's what's going to change how you live this year. If you could use these five things, the name is? His name is Justin. Justin, what's up, man? Justin. Justin. Grant Cardone, man. Dude, come. I love you. I, I've been waiting to call and talk to you, man. I'm right here in Fort Lauderdale. How are you doing today? Dude, I love you, bro. I love you. We like brothers, man. You got a great. Hey, I know it, dude's man. Got a, I know. Listen, you got a radio I'm voice, great. man. I know. I need a job in your office, man. That's why I've been. I'm right here in Fort Lauderdale. I sell branded promotional items, and I'm a closer. Mm. I'm a closer, man. Listen, I need help. With, this is what I need help with, Grant. I need you to tell me how, if you're not going to give me a job, if or a career, I should say, because I take I take these things seriously. But outside of that, I'm in the promotional industry. Highly competitive. I'm a 1099 guy, so I have the freedom to do what I want. What would you suggest if I want to reach a larger, larger audience? Uh, other, I'm on the phone all day, cold calls, and I do have accounts. 
But uh, it's a hard grind, man. You know how it is. So what would be the first step that you would say to take uh, to reach a larger audience, and, and how much capital do I need? Well, number one, I would just tell you, man, you, 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 the 1099 thing is overplayed. You need. Well, I own a business. I got a business. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. How many employees? How many employees you got? Just myself. That ain't a business, man. All right, all right. I'm with you, man. That's like having one McDonald's. Or like, like, can you imagine McDonald's? How many locations you got? One. (laughs) Well, how many employees you got there? Uh, one. That ain't a business, dude. All right, hey man, I'm just starting. Yeah. I'm just starting, but I'm a killer on the phone. But so that's fine, dude. But you ought to go work. work. You ought to go work. You, you you're better off being a one percent of something large than a hundred percent of something small. You, you guys, you guys yeah. are trying to do everything on your own, man. This is this is a whole Instagram bullshit going on. I'm gonna work for myself, man. I'm gonna be my guy. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, dude. Ain't nobody doing anything by themselves. Right, Gulfstream can't build this plane with one person. Right, so 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 that's what I would tell you, dude. Like, 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 you know, you got to think bigger this year. You got to start thinking beyond yourself, beyond your apartment. Build a business. If you're going to build a business, you guys build a big business. If you're not going to build a big business, don't do business. Go work for somebody that's going to build a big business. So, so you know. That's what I would tell you, man. Get great at what you do, okay? He's on the right track. Guy, guy's got a great attitude. Justin, Justin, come to the 10X Road Conference. There's going to be so many opportunities there. 35,000 okay, people are going to hit this town, Justin. All of them are interested in promotion. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to be there, man. I'm right here in Fort Lauderdale. But I, I know I you said that three times. <laughs> I, Wait, I'm, let me guess where you are. Hold on, man. Fort Lauderdale. You in Fort Lauderdale. Man, are you in Fort Lauderdale? <laughs> hey man, what do I have to do to get an interview, man? To call and send, tell send, you? A, send a thirty-second video to careers at Grant Cardone, man. And you got You're gonna have to work on talking to him about, hey, I want to be part of something. Because that's what you got going you, against man. you. I, well, hey, I don't have any problem with that. Man. I have no problem with that. Yeah, I love that, man. I hey. love that. I love that. Okay. Hey, show me, show me, show me this, show me this guy by himself on this planet. This is the planet. He's all by himself. But that's not the right size, is it? Right? That's him right there. You show me, you show me a guy that does that. You show me a guy. Tell me his financial condition right now. By himself. Done, dude. Ain't nobody. Give me a name. Any wealthy person. Give me a name. Bill, Warren, Oprah. What happened? What did they do? They connected with people. First thing they do is they, they all have in common. It doesn't matter the industry. Okay, Ted Turner, CNN. Ooh, he connected with people, man. He put CNN in. So when CNN was good, right? So show me a person. Jesus. We don't know his name. We don't know his name except the dude put on them sandals and beat a path. Right? And then he got a gather, and then he got 12, and then he got, they did the Last Supper thing, and then they put him up on the cross and they made a big deal about it, man. Can you imagine if that was going off on Facebook Live? Okay. Okay. He's like, he's like man, let's, let's put it on the ground. And we're going to build this thing big, dog. Because you've got to have promotion. You've got to have networking. You've got to have people, man. And you've got to have haters. We would not know Jesus today if he didn't have haters. That means this guy's got to get big, man. This guy's got to get big. Not big by himself, though. You can't get big by yourself. Okay, you need to get big with a team. You need to get big with a bunch of people. That's why I'm doing this 10X thing. So you guys can come join 35,000 people. A a, a lady told me today, she's like, I liked it when your conferences had 2,000 people. I'm like, dude, get on the field. There's only 2,000 people there. Right? Right? You want to be with 100 of them? Good. Get a diamond seat. There's only 100 diamond seats. You want to spend the whole weekend with me? Give me a million and a half. You You can tag along with me. I'll pull my pocket out. I'll pull my pocket out like this. Okay? And, 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 And you can just... I wish it was white. It looked better, okay? And, and Johnny, Johnny, you can just hold this all weekend if you want to. Just pay me enough money, man. I'll, I'll let you spoon me on stage. How close do you want to get, man? What's the payoff, right? You don't want to look stupid. 
You want to be like, how do I connect with people? By the way, you would not want to do the million dollar thing with just me. There's too many unbelievable people at the conference. 35,000 people. There's more than GC here, right? Or EC, right? There's all kinds of people here. Not just the people on stage either. The people sitting next to you. 10xgrowthcon.com. If you haven't grabbed your seat, you have 27 days. Let's, let's talk. David, and all of you out there that want to be on my stage, you want to speak, you're a podcaster, you want to interview me, support this conference. The way to get next to me is to support what I'm doing. The way, when I moved to Miami, there's a dude in town I wanted to do business with. I called him up and I said, hey, man, what's your favorite charity? Uh, it's a ba ba ba. And I said, great, man, let me, how can I help? I'll give you some money. Can I do a fundraiser? Can I, oh, boom, instant, instant. <laughs> Should I spend money on that? Man, I was having a money problem. Should I spend money on that? Is there any chance that I can make money? I don't need it as food. I don't need it as oxygen. There's a, 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 not a 100% chance, but there is a chance that I could do some business. Big D, what's up, baby? What's up, Big D? I'd borrow money Hi, to Grant. do that, too, by the way. If I needed to borrow money to go to that conference, I would do Hello? that. Yo, what's up, man? Hello? What's up, man? Talk to me, man. Got to talk. Got to talk, man. Okay. Go. What's up, Mexico? What's up, Mexico? Hey, Grant Cargo and Uncle G. What's going on? Oh, no, man. What's up, man? So I have two jobs right now. I'm a server, and um, yesterday I got home. Can you hear me? Every word. Sweet. I even I heard you say, can you hear me? Okay. I saw your, saw your uh, advertisement to go to Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. So, I was saying, and uh, I bought your ticket. Hello? Yeah, we're listening to you, man. Just keep talking. Okay, sorry. So I bought your ticket. I'm working two jobs right now. It was a miracle that I saw your advertisement because I paid my rent, and the amount I had was enough to pay for a ticket to go to the 10X conference here in a couple of weeks. So I'm super excited, super thrilled. I'm 20 years old. Um, Give this I'm ready to network and to get out there and try dude, something new. Dude, so I can't wait to meet excited. you, man. I can't wait. Let's give this big, big guy a big hand, guys. Come on. Okay? Okay? I was, I was 25 years old, okay? And, 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 I, and, I, and I had, I wanted to become a professional salesperson. Program was $3,000. I didn't have the money. Should I get a loan? Okay? Let me ask myself. One, do I need it? Yes, I need it. I needed that, by the way, as much as I needed food and housing and shelter. I needed to become a professional. Number two, is there a 100% chance that it will make me money? Yeah. I was like, uh, not a 100% chance because I hadn't used the program yet, right? But there was a 100% chance that I needed it. And there was a 100% chance, by the way, that if I didn't borrow the money to do this, I would never be a professional salesperson. Three, was there some chance, some slight chance that the shit could work? Yes, for sure, okay? Oh, and the IRS allowed that as a deduction. Number four and number five, um, you know, obviously, it's just, that's just junk. Okay, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to do it. I bought the deal, took the leap. Three grand, okay? I was 25 years old. I was broke. Borrowed the money from my mama. Listen to this, folks, okay? That three grand turned me into, like, literally my career. Not, not, like, my whole career started with three grand. My entire career everything I have today the plane the cars the books uh, the speaking gig 35,000 people seven businesses everything was because of that I spent money on the right thing I invested money on the right thing I invested money in myself so that I could be great at one thing and that built the business the same is waiting for you if your money's not right something you're doing with money our people is out. I want to help you. 10xgrowthcon.com, 27 days from right now. If you need to borrow the money from the bank, do we have any kind of payment programs? 
Okay? You need to borrow the money from a friend, a mom, a dad, Visa, MasterCard. I don't care what Dave Ramsey says. You ask Dave Ramsey, Dave, would you borrow money if you knew for sure it would change your damn life? He's going to say, yeah, man. And Dave Ramsey hates people borrowing money. But if I told Dave, Dave, it's going to change my life. Yeah, man, you should borrow the damn money. He's like, that's different than what I've been saying. Don't borrow money for a belt or a pair of shoes. Why? Because it's so low on the list, dude. You don't need it. It has no chance of making you money. My name's Grant Cardone. We're holding a conference, 35,000 people. You got the five? You got the five, Johnny? What are the five, Johnny? Do you need it? Do I need it? 100% chance to make money. You might make money. Uh, you kind of need it, and there's zero. Zero chance, okay? So what I want you to do, just take anything that you're thinking about buying. Johnny, what have you been thinking about buying? Anything? Good. Johnny's been thinking about investing with me, okay? He's thinking about taking the money. Let's just do it on the investing. Johnny's got a bunch of money sitting. I know where it's at. It's in the wall of his house. Okay? It don't matter. They're gonna, I'm going to tell enough people they're going to come rob you. I sh you should go rob Johnny, too, by the way. I'm telling you. To, what, what, what's your apartment? Where do you live, Johnny? 600 Collins Avenue. 56. You got to know where I'm at. Yeah, you know. What number? What number, Johnny? What number? 15 you, man. You can find him at 15, man. Okay. So, so Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's got money sitting in the wall. Johnny could reverse this thing. Hey, do I need to invest my money? Yeah. It's dead there. Okay. Johnny, what you're thinking about investing, is there a 100% chance, John, that this would make you money? Yeah. Maybe not 100. Yeah. He thinks it is, though. But, but he... he it's going to fill one of these, one and three. Let's say it does one and three. Hey, man, I need to invest. And number three, there is a good chance. Okay, see, I'm going to flip what I invest my money in. There's a really good chance that it's going to make me money. By the way, IRS loves the investments I make. More than any single vehicle on this planet, real estate is the most tax beneficial of every investment. ETS, mutual funds, cash accounts, gold, silver, Bitcoin, Real estate provides more tax havens protection than any other asset, okay? Johnny, if you leave the money in the wall, is there a little chance, Johnny, that it ever improves? Okay, is there zero chance that it improves? Dude, there's a chance that somebody comes and steals that shit. So then Johnny would say, oh, dude, I need to do this. He checks off enough of these. No, no. No, maybe, okay, enough of these check off. Oh man, I need to, uh, that's how you make decisions. Make them rationally. Don't make them because your daddy did it, because it feels good. Start doing things with your money rationally. You work 40 hours a week, folks. I work 40 hours a week, man, okay, when I was a part-timer, okay? I may at least spend that much time on my money and my health and my relationships. And then I'm going to spend some time sleeping. I got to sleep eight times what? Seven is 56 hours? Okay. I get 56 hours of sleep, 40 hours uh, uh, improvement time, and 40 hours work. It's not quite how I do it, but got to do something different this year, folks. Otherwise, it's just going to be another 2018, 2017, 2016. Nothing changes. Grant Cardone. Hey, man, if you called in today, we want to get you a flag. want to get you a flag. I love you guys. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to your comments. Thank you guys over here. Every question they ask, we gon' get to the bag. They don't believe it. They say how he achieve it. They say say get in riches or fantasy. Give me a count in. Watch where you get in advice. Get you a million in my do you Hey, 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 hey. 10X Nation. Man, these are exciting times. We are 37 days away from the 10X Growth Conference, and we aren't done yet. One thing that we always do is we continue to deliver even after we, uh, you, you thought that we had put it out on, out, out, uh, all out on the field. Instagram, thanks for joining us right now. So check it out. I got uh, an, an, another announcement today. Uh, we have another uh, piece of uh, talent uh, that we are adding to the agenda. Super excited about this. Uh, and I, I'm going to tell you, uh, give you just a little update on where we're at. You know, again, we are uh, closing in on the 10X Growth Conference, the number one most talked about conference all year. Nobody does it like us. 
Uh, the, the bill for, uh, for the expenses on this event are like ridiculous. We spend multiple seven figures on production. I mean, look at this stage, man. It's gonna be insane. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We got pyrotechnics, we got fire, we got the sparklers. We, this is gonna be insane. So check it out. We are officially, uh, pop into this, pop, show them the other screen here, Francisco, that shows the arena. I just wanna give you guys an update on where we're at. We set the goal, we wanted to have the entire event sold out by December 31st, okay? We missed that target. Not by much, but we missed that target. Right now, this is the entire arena here. We still have two suites left, so if you wanna bring your team, uh, we have an 11-person suite and a 14-person suite left. Uh, if you're interested in those, call the office right now, 310-777-0255. You get your own private suite. You get your own bathroom. We know how important that is. You get your own little spot that you can chill. So if you have a team, I would highly recommend checking this out because all of the diamond seats and all of the premier seats are gone. We're actually oversold in those sections, uh, which is uh, another problem. So uh, if you have a diamond seat or a premier seat and you get a phone call from us in the next 48 hours, make sure you pick up the phone. Uh, so, so basically, Diamond is oversold, Premier is oversold. Those are the first two kind of sections of the seats. We still have some VIP seats left. So there are about 900 seats available in VIP. We have about 250 left. Uh, you move up into lower executive, the entire lower executive section of the arena sold out. Uh, the general admission section of the arena up here sold out. The only seats that we have available here remaining are the executive seats and the VIP seats. Now, I can't tell you guys that for me, coming off of last year, Miami Marlins ballpark, 34,000 people, let me just tell you something about the, 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 the vantage point that you will have. I remember we went up to the suites when we were in the, the arena, the stadium last year, and I was looking down at the stage and I was like, this is massive. Like we, you know, up in the sky boxes at, at, the, at the baseball arenas, you're the stadiums, you know, like you're sitting up there, like, I mean, there's some distance. You get some, you get a crazy view, but I mean, you're kind of far away. The last row of general admission seating, I've personally sat down in this seat. We've measured it out. The distance from the last row of general admission to the stage is closer this year than VIP seats were to the stage last year. Oh my God. That's how, that's how, that's how tight the arena is. So everybody's gonna have a great seat. We went with a center stage so that everybody in the arena would have uh, the best seat in the house. So we're super excited about this. Like I said, we spared no expense with the AV and the production. We, we spent probably a million dollars more than we needed to, probably a million five more than we needed to, to make sure that not only do you come and get some amazing content, but you have a once in a lifetime experience that will not be duplicated anywhere else. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? We do this, we spend all this money because we want you to have an experience that you will not have anywhere else. And the truth is, nobody else is willing to put this much into their events, bring the talent that they're bringing in, spend the money on the AV because Truth is, when it's all said and done, we really don't make money on this event. This event is for our people. This event is for the community. This event is for all the 10Xers around the world to come together in one place and spend three days connecting. See, we believe 10X is a movement. We believe it's a movement that can be learned. We believe it's a, a movement that can be transferred. And we believe it, it, is an, it is a movement that can impact the world and change lives of everybody for the better. And so that's why we wanna bring everybody together. We went back to Las Vegas so that we could get a hotel attached to the venue so that everybody could stay in the same spot. If you haven't got your hotel yet, you wanna stay at Mandalay Bay or the Delano. Our teams are gonna be split uh, between those two hotels. Speakers will be split between those two hotels. You wanna be connected to everything that's going on in those two properties, this one venue. Gives you the opportunity to spend three days in the restaurants, uh, at the casino, if you decide you wanna play some cards. It's gonna be an insulated environment where we're basically gonna take the entire place over uh, for three entire days. So, what do you get? VIP seats right now, we got a crazy deal. Includes a hotel for all three nights at Mandalay Bay. The, the hotel room costs about a thousand bucks. I think it's like 923 bucks or something. So we're gonna take care of your entire host hotel stay 
It's a $2,500 seat. Not only do you get the hotel for all three nights, you get VIP entrance, no wait in line, you get you know the whole red carpet registration check-in deal, but you also get access to our Friday night VIP party at Light Nightclub with a very, very special guest, okay? Uh, also, executive seating. We still have some of these seats available right now. If you go to 10xgrowthcon.com, uh, our main page there, you still can get access to a buy one, get one free executive seat for $7.97. That deal will expire. These seats will double in price next Friday, okay? We have, uh, last I looked, I think we have 800 seats uh, in executive left. It's less than that now. I think maybe 600. We sold 172 seats today. Okay, so do the math. Like we have every intention of selling the event out in its entirety by next Friday. Question is, are you going to be there or not? Okay, so make sure you take advantage of this. Uh, we have a lot of people that have been calling, that have been waiting. They've been waiting for the best deal on diamond tickets. They've been waiting for the best deal on premier tickets. We've probably got 35, 40 calls today from people that wanted to spend $10,000 on a diamond ticket, but we didn't have them available. We've been telling you the whole time, this is not a tactic, this is not a trick. The seating is going fast, it's limited, it's going away. Get your seat now or you will not be at the event. I promise you. You wanna be here all three days, Mandalay Bay, crazy networking, crazy content, crazy education. Most importantly, it's gonna be an experience that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life. The reason we're here today is because I have an announcement. <laughs> we're bringing somebody else to the 10X Growth Conference. We actually have two more announcements. Uh, I'm only gonna do one today. Hopefully I can do the next one uh, tomorrow. Uh, but we are having somebody come. This person is an icon. This person is a friend of 10X. Uh, when we were going through and booking this particular individual, uh, th they're not the type of person that has to do this type of event. They're not the type of person that typically wants to do this type of event in this capacity. Uh, but this is a person who, after we had started a, a relationship with their organization uh, and their team, uh, we, we developed some rapport with them and, and they really got on board with what we're doing for communities, with what we're doing for people, helping empower them, helping them uh, earn more money and, and create some financial freedom for themselves. Uh, so it's really, we're really, really excited to have this particular individual uh, at the event. Some of you uh, may have heard of this person before. Some of you may have seen this person before. Uh, some of you may have even watched this particular individual's cooking show, if you, if you watch TV like that. So uh, without further ado, I would like to, uh, to announce the next uh, speaker performer slash speaker to the 10X Growth Conference will be joining us at the Light Night Club Party Friday night for VIPs. So if you are a VIP ticket holder, you get access to see this person. If you have a seat anywhere else, you have to upgrade to VIP in order to get access uh, to this unbelievable experience. The next performer at the 10X Growth Conference is none other than Mr. Snoopy Dio Double Jizzle! Dude, my man Snoop's coming back to the 10X Growth Conference. Uh, last year after he uh, performed, he was like, man, I can't believe you guys filled the stadium. I can't believe you're doing this. This is amazing. This is unreal. I want to be a part of this. Uh, and so we're so excited to have Snoop back. He's going to do something super cool for us at Light Night Club. He's going to deliver a very special performance for all of the VIP ticket holders. Uh, so we are uh, unbelievably uh, excited to have him back. So make sure that you get your seats. If you're in general admission, if you're an executive and you want to upgrade to VIP, we have crazy deals right now, but I can't tell you what the deal is here. You got to call the office. 310-777-0255. We got our team here. I told them, make some deals, get some VIP seats sold. I want, I want Light Night Club packed out to see my man Snoop Dogg. This guy's a guy that's been around. I got a video. Th oh, you do? Yeah. Well, let's show the video, bro. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you got to push forward. Jesus, keep motivating the world, man. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a conference. 
you feel like we're over delivering to you, let the world know. So, Mr. West Coast, Snoop Dogg, he's going to be coming to the 10X Growth Conference this year. We're going to get to get some entertainment from him. Hopefully, we're able to get some more from him. Uh, but I will leave that to the attendees of the VIP party to find out for themselves. Who else is going to be there? Dude, we got Kevin Hart, Magic Johnson, Scooter Braun, Brad Parscale, Grant Cardone, uh, John Nigerian. He's on CNBC talking about money every day. We got Ryan Dice, digital marketing expert, Pete Vargas. We got Scooter Braun, who uh, basically uh, manages uh, Justin uh, Bieber and uh, Ariana Grande, two of the biggest uh, music acts uh, this past decade. I think he had four of the top 10 artists of the decade uh, were, were managed by him. So unbelievable uh, background for that, for that uh, group. We also have, who else? Help me out here. Do you have the, do you have the lineup? Marie Forleo. Marie Forleo. She's awesome. She just wrote a New York Times bestselling book, Everything is Figure out Figure Outable. Uh, she's an amazing business coach, has an amazing following because she's got great content, real practical uh, tips to help people get ahead and get where they want to go. So it's going to be uh, pretty ridiculous. Let's see, who do we got there? Ryan Dice, Pete Vargas. Oh, Ricky Rose for our Saturday night Diamond Ooh. Party, Diamond and Premier. Uh, we have a special, like the Diamond and Premier Party. I, I mean, I don't want to get you guys too excited about it, but this is going to be off-site. We've, we've been... It, it, was, it was a matter of making this thing actually happen or not. Like, we had to get government agencies involved for, improve, for, for approval. It was a national security uh, uh, negotiation that had to happen. We were lobbying in Washington trying to get this party to happen. We made it happen. We pulled the strings. And uh, it's going to be a crazy night. It's going to be a crazy three days. And I promise you, this event will be unlike any of our growth conferences that you've uh, ever attended, I promise you, uh, this is a, uh, a, a, a going to be really, really awesome. We've we've listened to a lot of the feedback from the people that have attended in the past, and uh, what we've put together, what we feel is a conference that will deliver strategies that you need, tips that you need, uh, without having a lot of distractions going on. So in the past, we've had uh, a lot of different folks and and making a lot of different offers. This is a very like. I would say this is almost a pitch-free zone. There ain't going to be no sales offers made by anybody but Uncle G here. So uh, heavy, heavy content this year, uh, and we're focusing on making this experience the experience of a lifetime for you. Whoa. Sirens. 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 That, that, we're, they're, they're, they're going fast. So uh, 10X Growth Conference uh, uh, 2020, Las Vegas, February 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Hey, if you want to hang around for our mastermind, we still have four seats left for the mastermind. There's going to be about 20 people there. Uh, tickets for the mastermind are 50K. It's going to be Grant Cardone, uh, the co-founder of Cardone Ventures, Brandon Dawson. It's going to be a two-day deep dive mastermind with some brilliant business minds, some special guests that we're not going to announce uh, for anybody except the folks that are in the mastermind. And uh, you know, we're just we're putting this together so that you are able to come and equip yourself for 2020. Don't forget about 10X Ladies. 10xladies.com. We have Elena Cardone, Natalie Workman, Sherry Hamilton, all from uh, our team representing the Cardone camp. We have uh, Rebecca Minkoff, which, who's a superstar fashion designer. Judge Janine uh, from, uh, from the uh, Fox News. Uh, she's uh, been an incredible uh, uh, business powerhouse and spokesperson, not just on news and economics, but also on politics. So we're super excited to have her. Danelle Delgado, Gloria Mayfield Banks. There's a whole like lineup of ladies. And for two days, the, the ladies can get together and talk about business, talk about building empires, talk about protecting their empires. You can see the lovely Elena Cardone there with her crew of 10X ladies. Uh, so look, we're, we're trying to get your year started off right. We're trying to supercharge your year. We wanna get this thing sold out in the next five days. It's gonna happen. Question will be, will you be there or not? Uh, let me let me get one let me get one update real quick. Hey Francisco, find out how many tickets are on the board that are sold right now. Cause I think I just want to give you guys some 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 accurate data here. Uh, let me see, where's the last update? 174. 174 seats sold today. Okay. So we had about 600 seats left in executive, maybe 650. 
Uh, 174 seats sold today. Full antici fully anticipate we're gonna do that tomorrow over the weekend. If we do that, then we're gonna be completely sold out. So do not wait. I'm telling you from the deep down bottom of my heart, buy your seats. This is not a tactic. They will be gone in less than a week. Do not wait, do not wait, do not wait. We don't have more seats. This is a smaller venue. We've been telling everybody about it for a long time. Uh, when we, we had our event at, at, Mandela, or at um, Miami Marlins Ballpark last year, we were selling seats up until the day of the event. We will not have the opportunity to do that this year. It's 37 days before the event. We're almost entirely sold out. So uh, a lot of people are coming from around the world to go to this thing. We want you to be there. Come hang out with Snoop Dogg. Come hang out with Uncle G. Come hung, hang out with Cousin JG. Come hang out with Alan and Peter and Francisco. I was just messing with you, man. I was just messing with you. Francisco, the whole Cardone team, we're going to be there for all three days. Uh, we want to spend some time. We want to get to know you. We want to help figure out how we can help you get where you want to go in 2020. Because you know, 2020 is the year that you got to get that money. And my man Snoop's going to tell you the same thing. Get that money, chase that paper, and make big things happen. 10xgrowthcon.com. We have uh, hotels included absolutely free on VIP tickets. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash VIP hotel. If you want to bring a friend, take advantage of the buy one, get one free deal, which will end on Sunday at midnight this week. And then ticket prices are going to go up because we're down to the last few seats. And uh, that's just what happens. You know, you wait, you pay the price. So uh, get to the growth con. Can't wait to see you there. Make sure you come up, snag a picture with us. Want to meet you, want to spend some time with you, and want to figure out how we can make your 2020 truly 10X. We'll see you in Las Vegas, and hopefully I'll have another announcement for you tomorrow afternoon. Peace! When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you got to push forward. Keep motivating the world, man. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a conference. If you feel like we're over delivering to you, let the world know. Give me a count in. Hey, 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 hey. 10X Nation. Man, these are exciting times. We are 37 days away from the 10X Growth Conference, and we aren't done yet. One thing that we always do is we continue to deliver even after we, uh, you, you thought that we had put it out on, out, 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 all out on the field. Instagram, thanks for joining us right now. So check it out. I got uh, an, an, another announcement today. Uh, we have another uh, piece of uh, talent uh, that we are adding to the agenda. Super excited about this. Uh, and I, I'm going to tell you, uh, give you just a little update on where we're at. You know, again, we are uh, closing in on the 10X Growth Conference. The number one most talked about conference all year. Nobody does it like us. Uh, the, the bill for, uh, for the expenses on this event are like ridiculous. We spend multiple seven figures on production. I mean, look at this stage, man. It's going to be insane. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We got pyrotechnics. We got fire. We got the sparklers. We, this is going to be insane. So check it out. We are officially, uh, pop into this, pop, show them the other screen here, Francisco, that shows the arena. I just want to give you guys an update on where we're at. We set the goal. We wanted to have the entire event sold out by December 31st, okay? We missed that target. Not by much, but we missed that target. Right now, this is the entire arena here. We still have two suites left. So if you want to bring your team, uh, we have an 11-person suite and a 14-person suite left. Uh, if you're interested in those, call the office right now, 310-777-0255. You get your own private suite. You get your own bathroom. We know how important that is. You get your own little spot that you can chill. So if you have a team, I would highly recommend checking this out because all of the diamond seats and all of the premier seats are gone. 
we're actually oversold in those sections, uh, which is uh, another problem. So uh, if you have a diamond seat or a premier seat and you get a phone call from us in the next 48 hours, make sure you pick up the phone. Uh, so, so basically, diamond is oversold, premier is oversold. Those are the first two kind of sections of the seats. We still have some VIP seats left. So there are about 900 seats available in VIP. We have about 250 left. Uh, you move up into lower executive, the entire lower executive section of the arena sold out. Uh, the general admission section of the arena up here sold out. The only seats that we have available here remaining are the executive seats and the VIP seats. Now, I can't tell you guys that for me, coming off of last year, Miami Marlins ballpark, 34,000 people. Let me just tell you something about the, 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 the vantage point that you will have. I remember we went up to the suites when we were in the, the arena, the stadium last year, and I was looking down at the stage and I was like, this is massive. Like we, you know, up in the sky boxes at, at, the, at the baseball arenas, you're the stadiums, you know, like you're sitting up there, like, I mean, there's some distance. You get some, you get a crazy view, but I mean, you're kind of far away. The last row of general admission seating, I've personally sat down in this seat. We've measured it out. The distance from the last row of general admission to the stage is closer this year than VIP seats were to the stage last year. Oh my god. That's how that's how that's how tight the arena is. So everybody's going to have a great seat. We went with a center stage so that everybody in the arena would have uh, the best seat in the house. So we're super excited about this. Like I said, we spared no expense with the AV and the production. We we spent probably a million dollars more than we needed to, probably a million five more than we needed to, to make sure that not only do you come and get some amazing content, but you have a once in a lifetime experience that will not be duplicated anywhere else. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? We do this, we spend all this money because we want you to have an experience that you will not have anywhere else. And the truth is, nobody else is willing to put this much into their events, bring the talent that they're bringing in, spend the money on the AV because Truth is, when it's all said and done, we really don't make money on this event. This event is for our people. This event is for the community. This event is for all the 10Xers around the world to come together in one place and spend three days connecting. See, we believe 10X is a movement. We believe it's a movement that can be learned. We believe it's a, a movement that can be transferred. And we believe it, it, is an, it is a movement that can impact the world and change lives of everybody for the better. And so that's why we want to bring everybody together. We went back to Las Vegas so that we could get a hotel attached to the venue so that everybody could stay in the same spot. If you haven't got your hotel yet, you want to stay at Mandalay Bay or the Delano. Our teams are gonna be split uh, between those two hotels. Speakers will be split between those two hotels. You wanna be connected to everything that's going on in those two properties, this one venue. Gives you the opportunity to spend three days in the restaurants, uh, at the casino, if you decide you wanna play some cards. It's gonna be an insulated environment where we're basically gonna take the entire place over uh, for three entire days. So, what do you get? VIP seats right now, we got a crazy deal. Includes a hotel for all three nights at Mandalay Bay. The, the hotel room costs about a thousand bucks. I think it's like 923 bucks or something. So we're gonna take care of your entire host hotel stay. It's a $2,500 seat. Not only do you get the hotel for all three nights, you get VIP entrance, no wait in line, you get you know the whole red carpet registration check-in deal. But you also get access to our Friday night VIP party at Light Nightclub with a very, very special guest. Okay. Uh, also, executive seating. We still have some of these seats available right now. If you go to 10xgrowthcon.com, uh, our main page there, you still can get access to a buy one, get one free executive seat for $7.97. That deal will expire. These seats will double in price next Friday. Okay. We have, uh, last I looked, I think we have 800 seats uh, in executive left. It's less than that now. I think maybe 600. We sold 172 seats today, okay? So do the math. Like we have every intention of selling the event out in its entirety by next Friday. Question is, are you gonna be there or not, okay? So make sure you take advantage of this. Uh, we have a lot of people that have been calling, that have been waiting. They've been waiting for the best deal on diamond tickets. They've been waiting for the best deal on premier tickets. 
We've probably got 35, 40 calls today from people that wanted to spend $10,000 on a diamond ticket, but we didn't have them available. We've been telling you the whole time, this is not a tactic, this is not a trick. The seating is going fast, it's limited, it's going away. Get your seat now or you will not be at the event. I promise you. You wanna be here all three days, Mandalay Bay, crazy networking, crazy content, crazy education. Most importantly, it's gonna be an experience that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life. The reason we're here today is because I have an announcement. <laughs> we're bringing somebody else to the 10X Growth Conference. We actually have two more announcements. Uh, I'm only gonna do one today. Hopefully I can do the next one uh, tomorrow. Uh, but we are having somebody come. This person is an icon. This person is a friend of 10X. Uh, when we were going through and booking this particular individual, uh, th they're not the type of person that has to do this type of event. They're not the type of person that typically wants to do this type of event in this capacity. Uh, but this is a person who, after we had started a, a relationship with their organization uh, and their team, uh, we, we developed some rapport with them and, and they really got on board with what we're doing for communities, with what we're doing for people, helping empower them, helping them uh, earn more money and, and create some financial freedom for themselves. Uh, so it's really, we're really, really excited to have this particular individual uh, at the event. Some of you uh, may have heard of this person before. Some of you may have seen this person before. Uh, some of you may have even watched this particular individual's cooking show, if you, if you watch TV like that. So uh, without further ado, I would like to, uh, to announce the next uh, speaker performer slash speaker to the 10X Growth Conference will be joining us at the Light Night Club Party Friday night for VIP. So if you are a VIP ticket holder, you get access to see this person. If you have a seat anywhere else, you have to upgrade to VIP in order to get access uh, to this unbelievable experience. The next performer at the 10X Growth Conference is none other than Mr. Snoopy Dio Double Jizzle! Dude, my man Snoop's coming back to the 10X Growth Conference. Uh, last year after he uh, performed, he was like, man, I can't believe you guys filled the stadium. I can't believe you're doing this. This is amazing. This is unreal. I want to be a part of this. Uh, and so we're so excited to have Snoop back. He's going to do something super cool for us at Light Night Club. He's going to deliver a very special performance for all of the VIP ticket holders. Uh, so we are uh, unbelievably uh, excited to have him back. So make sure that you get your seats. If you're in general admission, if you're an executive and you want to upgrade to VIP, we have crazy deals right now, but I can't tell you what the deal is here. You got to call the office. 310-777-0255. We got our team here. I told them, make some deals, get some VIP seats sold. I want, I want Light Night Club packed out to see my man Snoop Dogg. This guy's a guy that's been around. I got a video. Th oh, you do? Yeah. Well, let's show the video, bro. Come on. Here we go. When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you got to push forward. Jesus, keep motivating the world, man. Give it up to Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a conference. If you feel like we're over delivering to you, let the world know. So, Mr. West Coast, Snoop Dogg, he's gonna be coming to the 10X Growth Conference this year. We're gonna get to get some entertainment from him. Hopefully, we're able to get some more from him, uh, but I will leave that to the attendees of the VIP party to find out for themselves. Who else is gonna be there? Dude, we got Kevin Hart, Magic Johnson, Scooter Braun, Brad Parscale, Grant Cardone, Ooh. Uh, John Nigerian, he's on CNBC talking about money every day. We got Ryan Dice, digital marketing expert. Pete Vargas. Scooter. We got Scooter Braun, who uh, basically uh, manages uh, Justin uh, Bieber and uh, Ariana Grande, two of the biggest uh, music acts uh, this past decade. I think he had four of the top 10 artists of the decade uh, were, were managed by him. So unbelievable uh, background for that for that uh, group. We also have who else? Help me out here. Do you have the Do you have the lineup? Marie Forleo. Marie Forleo. She's awesome. She just wrote a New York Times bestselling book. Everything is figure out figure outable. 
Uh, she's an amazing business coach, has an amazing following because she's got great content, real practical uh, tips to help people get ahead and get where they want to go. So it's going to be uh, pretty ridiculous. Let's see, who do we got there? Ryan Dice, Pete Vargas. Oh, Ricky Rose for our Saturday night Diamond Ooh. Party, Diamond and Premier. Uh, we have a special, like the Diamond and Premier Party. I, I mean, I don't want to get you guys too excited about it, but this is going to be off-site. We've, we've been... It was, it was a matter of making this thing actually happen or not. Like, we had to get government agencies involved for, improve, for, for approval. It was a national security uh, uh, negotiation that had to happen. We were lobbying in Washington trying to get this party to happen. We made it happen. We pulled the strings. And uh, it's going to be a crazy night. It's going to be a crazy three days. And I promise you, this event will be unlike any of our growth conferences that you've uh, ever attended, I promise you, uh, this is a, uh, a, a, a going to be really, really awesome. We've we've listened to a lot of the feedback from the people that have attended in the past, and uh, what we've put together, what we feel is a conference that will deliver strategies that you need, tips that you need, uh, without having a lot of distractions going on. So in the past, we've had uh, a lot of different folks and and making a lot of different offers. This is a very like. I would say this is almost a pitch-free zone. There ain't going to be no sales offers made by anybody but Uncle G here. So uh, heavy, heavy content this year, uh, and we're focusing on making this experience the experience of a lifetime for you. Whoa. Sirens. Sirens. <laughs> that, we're, we're, they're, they're, they're going fast. So uh, 10X Growth Conference uh, uh, 2020, Las Vegas, February 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Hey, if you want to hang around for our mastermind, we still have four seats left for the mastermind. There's going to be about 20 people there. Uh, tickets for the mastermind are 50K. It's going to be Grant Cardone, uh, the co-founder of Cardone Ventures, Brandon Dawson. It's going to be a two-day deep dive mastermind with some brilliant business minds, some special guests that we're not going to announce uh, for anybody except the folks that are in the mastermind. And uh, you know, we're just we're putting this together so that you are able to come and equip yourself for 2020. Don't forget about 10X Ladies. 10xladies.com. We have Elena Cardone, Natalie Workman, Sherry Hamilton, all from uh, our team representing the Cardone camp. We have uh, Rebecca Minkoff, which, who's a superstar fashion designer. Judge Janine uh, from, uh, from the, uh, Fox News. Uh, she's uh, been an incredible uh, uh, business powerhouse and spokesperson, not just on news and economics, but also on politics, so we're super excited to have her. Danelle Delgado, Gloria Mayfield-Banks, there's a whole like lineup of ladies, and for two days, the, the ladies can get together and talk about business, talk about building empires, talk about protecting their empires. You can see the lovely Elena Cardone there with her crew of 10X ladies. Uh, so look, we're, we're trying to get your year started off right. We're trying to supercharge your year. We wanna get this thing sold out in the next five days, it's gonna happen. Question will be, will you be there or not? Uh, let me let me get one let me get one update real quick. Hey Francisco, find out how many tickets are on the board that are sold right now. Cause I think I just want to give you guys some 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 accurate data here. Uh, let me see, where's the last update? 174. 174 seats sold today. Okay. So we had about 600 seats left in executive, maybe 650. Uh, 174 seats sold today. Full antici fully anticipate we're gonna do that tomorrow over the weekend. If we do that, then we're gonna be completely sold out. So do not wait. I'm telling you from the deep down bottom of my heart, buy your seats. This is not a tactic. They will be gone in less than a week. Do not wait, do not wait, do not wait. We don't have more seats. This is a smaller venue. We've been telling everybody about it for a long time. Uh, when we, we had our event at, at, Mandela, or at um, Miami Marlins Ballpark last year, we were selling seats up until the day of the event. We will not have the opportunity to do that this year. It's 37 days before the event. We're almost entirely sold out. So uh, a lot of people are coming from around the world to go to this thing. We want you to be there. Come hang out with Snoop Dogg. Come hang out with Uncle G. Come hung, hang out with Cousin JG. Come hang out with Alan and Peter and Fernand, Cisco. I was just messing with you, man. I was just messing with you. Francisco, the whole Cardone team, we're going to be there for all three days. Uh, we want to spend some time. We want to get to know you. We want to help figure out how we can help you get where you want to go in 2020. Because you know, 2020 is the year 
that you gotta get that money. And my man Snoop's gonna tell you the same thing. Get that money, chase that paper, and make big things happen. 10xgrowthcon.com, we have uh, hotels included absolutely free on VIP tickets, 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash VIP hotel. If you wanna bring a friend, take advantage of the buy one, get one free deal, which will end on Sunday at midnight this week, and then ticket prices are gonna go up because we're down to the last few seats, and uh, that's just what happens. You know, you wait, you pay the price. So uh, get to the growth con, can't wait to see you there. Make sure you come up, snag a picture with us. Want to meet you, want to spend some time with you, want to figure out how we can make your 2020 truly 10X. We'll see you in Las Vegas and hopefully I'll have another announcement for you tomorrow afternoon. Peace! When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you got to push forward. Keep motivating the world, man. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a company. If you feel like we're over delivering to you, let the world know. Hear the money knocking, knocking. Ding dong. Tell me, do you got it, got it? Step inside the office, office, and you see us balling, balling. announcement for you my friends how can we get to the people that we feel need the financial information the most a lister movie star comedian the best way to really do it is to put me in a position to be heard yes yes the purpose is to align ourselves to really make a change so you can either be the conversation about making change or you can be actual a part of the action to do it I want to be a part of the action All writing a book. What's your book look like? When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you gotta push forward. Gee, keep motivating the world, man. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. Y'all feeling good out there? Somebody make some noise. This is how you run a company. You feel like we're over-delivering to you, let the world know.